Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and today in this video and in the subsequent videos of the series, I am going to create a chat support system which uses a little bit of AI to give the smarts for let's say an e-commerce store where if a customer is trying to ask certain kind of questions like where is my order or maybe can you recommend me some products? If these kind of questions are asked, then our chatbot will be able to understand the context or rather uh, basically understand what the customer is trying to say, uh, what the customer wants and based on that it will try to react and provide the information that is required, right? So this is what we are going to do in the series and if you feel this is something which is of interest to you, then follow along. I'll be creating multiple videos on that. And uh, in this video, we will start with the very basic, which is installing the Chatwood application. Chatwood is, you can say it's a chat solution along with a CRM. So it's a pretty nice composed solution, which can really take care of your customers conversations uh, from all the channels. You know, it supports a lot of uh, channels, for example, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, uh, emails, and even chat widgets and, and so more, right? And uh, so the overall omni-channel experience does improve. And if on top of it, you have a chat bot, then nothing like it, right? So let's start the process and see how we can build that. So as first step, we will need to understand how we can use Chatwood. Now Chatwood allows you to have um, a free account, um, the hacker plan where you can you know, sign up and use it. You only get the website live chat. And uh, then there are the paid solutions, uh, paid plans, which you can uh, opt for. They also have a self hosted option, which is a great thing. You know, it's an open source application so let's go into their docker page and understand how we can self-host it because that's what i am trying to do right now um ba, ba, ba. deployment page is where we should go and click on docker it will first give you the steps to install docker on your vm we are not interested in that what i would rather do is first let me open up my terminal I'm running an Ubuntu container or VM using WSL. Okay, I'll go to my R&D folder. Let's call this project chat support. Inside here, I'll open this up inside VS Code. First thing is to get this file it's doing a wget output okay i'll just copy this this should do the trick and with that i should have an env file all right let's quickly scan through this so we have a secret we have the ability to set a front end url which is currently set to the correct thing okay we can use CDNs for images, which is good. Uh, false SSL. Account signups are turned off, which is good. Uh, Redis is being used, which is obvious. Um, then let's go down. We're using Postgres database. Okay. Now you can leave the Postgres database blank. The default name of the database in the production environment is Chatwood production. Okay. Mm. Maybe I'll just do check root. Let's see. There's a password. Okay. And let's keep rest everything same. Um, we'll configure maybe a mail mail pit or mail trap to you know do these uh, SMTP stuff as well. Mm, I'll try to yeah, create a video for that as well. Uh, inbound webhook format. 
uh, fine. Okay, I can use S3 bucket as well. Log settings, FB verify token, Instagram, Twitter, Slack, Google. So there's a lot of integrations and that's what I was telling you that look, it, it's a great solution uh, for lightweight CRM come chat. So definitely worth a try. Okay, so we have our ENV, but we obviously need our Docker Compose as well. So I'll just copy this. And now we should have our file. Now this is something which I really liked about this. I was not aware of this Docker thing, which is you know, they're, they're using two services, Rails and Sidekick. Uh, both of them are using this image and there is some common uh, configurations, Docker uh, configuration. So what they have done is created this base, uh, base and then and base, and then they are referencing it. Okay, so I don't need to define this over here again and over here again. So it's a nice little trick. I was not aware if you were aware of it, then it's great. But yeah, I learned something from this code base. Uh, so yeah, they have you know, uh, a service running as Rails. They have uh, Sidekick. The pretty much difference is Sidekick is running based on this YAML. So I'm not very sure what that thing does, but well, that's the beauty of Docker. You don't need to know everything uh, at the start. And then you can use this compose file and pretty much you'll be off and running. Uh, the one thing though, which I will change is I'll make this data folder relative to this okay volume 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 there's three services so we have what four services one is the sidekick i guess yeah um ba -ba -ba. right and we have the base so one two three four five five services this is going to be a, a common thing uh, it won't i think i think it won't create a container if i'm not wrong uh fair enough so this is done now what what are the next steps it says tweak the env those things are fine um i created the yaml now prepare the database by running the migrations yes this step is important uh to you know create the database now let's see if it creates the chat code database the postgres database and everything is created on i mean set properly or not um, so the Redis container will take some time to start. Okay. And I haven't done a dash D because I want to see what things are happening. Okay. PG is ready. Sleep. PG no response. What does that even mean? Um, is it working or is it not working? Um, let me open the Docker desktop to understand maybe what, what is happening. I think that it is stuck somewhere. Waiting for Postgres to become ready, right? So it is not working, that's what I feel. Have we... Okay, I think I need to pass a password, otherwise it won't work, so I'll just stop it. Run it again. Bundle install, yes. Now it is running, so the password was required. Um, let's see what it is doing. All right. So certain things have been created and I'm not very sure what was that, but let's just now do docker compose up. Why don't I start tmux so that I can do a split. Oops, what happened? Yeah, um, maybe like so. And I'll do docker compose up. Perfect. Let's see if we have our containers running. We do, there are four containers. 
there's the rails, the sidekick, postgres and redis. So the base was, base is obviously not there. And if things are correct, we should be able to see something on port 3000. And we do. So this is the basics of how we can get the chatbot application up and running on our machine using a Docker. And um, just let me complete the installation process at least. So I fill the form. And let's try and log in. Login successful and we are in. So yeah, that's the first step that we have achieved. We have installed Chatwood using Docker. And in the next video, we will look how we can set up a chat widget and what are the necessary steps to do that. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.